Hello. So I wanted to um, kind of do things a little differently. You know, I've been doing the shorts for a while now, and you guys watch a lot of those, and thank you for doing that. But I feel like I want to try and, you know, show a little bit more in detail the way we do things, um, particularly at Simon Electric or and just in general as an electrician. So let me know if that's something you want to be, you know, part of, you know, like you guys let me know, you know, each step of the way how I can do better. And I really appreciate all you guys out there watching. It's become very motivating for me to keep the trend going and, and try and be the best electrician I can be and show you guys that along the way. So stay tuned for some more content like this. now just wanted to take a look at this van that we're getting set up this, this roof rack it's been they've been they got to finish this thing it's been several days i'm just stopping by the office right now but we're going to go and meet a crew on a job site and get some work done here in a second hey question mm -hmm. when you hang on i'll be right back thank you mm -hmm. Dina, yeah. this is important. So. Okay, thank you. Mm hmm Parson, These are the sheets we'll that you later. gave me originally back when I started. So what we're headed to right now is just, uh, it seems like there's a, the roofers had damaged or broken a pipe, or I'm not even sure who did it, but somebody broke a pipe on a roof for that's feeding an AC unit on an apartment building. And they also want us to check it, all the, some of the other AC units. So we're gonna go up there and poke around, see what we got. I'm walking the gentleman to the elevator. I'm meet you on the floor. Uh, well, they're on the fourth floor. It yeah. says Simon on their shirt. Yeah, she just showed me the picture and it kind of looked like, I think it's further, no, the, right oh, okay. where the half inch, it looked like half inch from the picture, but where it came up out of the... the <laughs> very friendly, she's making my weight down. <laughs> People are not waiting on the patient process. That's right. All right. Let's see here. All right, split. Divide and conquer. Hey, how's it going? Go up, cross that little bridge there. Okay. Is this hurricane rated trash bag? No. no? I mean, okay, cool. I, I don't want to you guys have an electric you yourself with uh, so many cable, electrical cables around there. Understandable, boss. Okay. Uh, okay. Is it right there? Is it on the other side? 102 102's wire is here. Okay. Cut all the tape out. Please. From here. I think right here is what the problem is. That's your boy? Yeah. It's in the same. Yep. All right. Oh, jeez. I think it's right here. Yeah. Where? Yeah, exactly right where you point. Honestly, I thought this job was going to be quite a bit bigger. Over the phone, the description sounded a little worse. Watch your fingers. Mm -hmm. Although it did flood an apartment on the fourth floor pretty severely, they made it sound like it was more than one conduit, and it sounded like they would all have to be re-ran. So that's why there's three of us. You see a broken one on that side? Or on? It's okay, it's over here. Yeah, try not to peel that the tar off. So we need to chip this tar away. We need to chip this tar away and expose this pipe. See, it's broken right there. But it's cool because there's no job too big or too small for Simon Electric. And what I'm doing right now is just verifying voltage before we oh, get started. Uh oh. It's alright, it's, it's fine. It's supposed to be load in the center and line on the outside, but. So he's gonna call it in here in a second. 
And now I'm just digging away at this tar. It's super sticky because it's all brand new. The whole roof was just recently redone. If it was a little bit older, it would be a little drier and less messy. And I'm also trying to stay busy while Bernard's running down to disconnect the power in the apartment feeding this AC unit. This one? No. Alrighty. Where's he at? That's it. Alrighty. Alright. Alright, cool. Now. So now that we have it de-energized, I'm going to start taking apart the disconnect so we can get the wire out and the pipe fixed. See, the reason why it was leaking is that broken conduit was allowing water to run down and into the apartment on the fourth floor. I'm about to make a discovery here in just a second that I should have maybe noticed a little sooner, but it did look like the wire was coming out of the correct conduit. Wait a minute, there's no ground even here either. Hmm. We're going to probably have to come back and add a ground to this or something. There's no ground here. See, when I first opened it up, it like this wire was the ground coming from downstairs. Okay. Good point. It's going to be pretty difficult to pull new ground through that EMT, so we're going to come back a different day to do that. You see, the issue is, is the EMT used to be the ground for the disconnect, but ever since they switched it over to liquid type, probably because the EMT rotted away because we're in South Florida, now we have no ground. There is a couple EMT conduits still intact feeding some of the other disconnects, and it's going to be grounded through the Unistrut frame. So it's not a terrible situation, but we'll get it straightened out. Right here, I'm trying to work the broken compression EMT mail adapter off, but it's just not coming off very easy. Eureka. This thing's just coated in tar, and I'm trying to avoid getting it all over the wires. There's tar all over the dang wires, but no such luck. This is the new EMT male adapter compression fitting that will slide right over the old pipe. The old pipe's in pretty good shape, so this should go pretty smoothly. I'm just going to put a quick wrap of tape over the old stripped ends because they're a little bit snarled and we'll get snagged on the inside of the liquid tight conduit. This way, I can't cut them short now and restrip them so they'll slide through nicer because I don't want to make it too short. I want them to be inside the disconnect before I restrip them to make sure they're long enough still. probably do. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, because uh, seems to be the, the other electrician who came here. Uh-oh. You know, who did all these air conditioning boxes and something, did it, something do. I guess. He didn't do it right. He didn't do it right. And I believe so. I want to report it. They have to be responsible. Okay. Get some, but, get some of that money back, huh? Well, hey, it is what it is, right? Yeah. 
have to, you know, we hire people, they have to do it right. If not, Mickey Mouse is not allowed. Sure not. Uh, okay. That's the name of the game. You know it. Let's focus on this. So now that I tested the length on the conductors and I know there's a little extra slack, I can cut them back and strip them nice again. And definitely don't do as I'm doing it, strip with your clients, unless you've done it quite a few times. I'm doing it now because I don't want to get tar all over the strippers as well, because tar is getting over all these tools. Disconnects are real chintzy. <laughs> Good to go. Nice. Just hang there for one second. One thing I wanted to mention, sir, is uh, I'm going to put tar here, but you're going to need to have a roofer come and make sure this is good. Yeah. But I'm going to tar it up for now. Okay. Cause I, you know, I'm just going to I'm going to do a, a temporary repair as far as the roofing goes. Okay. The tar. Yeah. The yeah. roof is have to go back. Yep. All right. I just wanted to let you know. I mean, I'm going to put yeah. you know tar on, yeah. but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. But the adapter is fine. We are good, right? What's that? After you tie the... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, going, yeah, absolutely. Going right. You want to see it? No. I want to just take this tape out. This is definitely better than a temporary repair and this roof would be fine, but I want the roofer to come back and just certify it so that it's not on me. I don't want any other spot to leak in a year from now and it'd be my fault.
the other electrician that they didn't do it right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but. I, mean, I put the plastic bag back mainly so that yeah, roofers I mean, know what you know we worked on. I, I got the roofer maybe tomorrow. We spotted a pigeon's nest mm -hmm. after the mom flew away. Yeah. Little eggs. We have a little eggs in there. You want breakfast? Uh, you want breakfast? <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. No wonder there's bird crap all over here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did see yeah. a big fat bird too. He yeah, looked at. It's the end of that. So I'm gonna uh, try to make some more content like this. If this is something you guys like, I mean, this is kind of a weird little job I shot out to, but we have everything from, you know, brand new builds to panels. I mean, all the stuff you see in the shorts for the most part. So I try to pick something that's a little different each day. Like this was the most unique job for today. That's why I took it. And uh, I'll try to join the crews on the cooler jobs of the day and if that sounds like something you guys would be interested in let me know in the comments section until next time take care guys